How's it going everybody? If you've been watching my channel for a while, or maybe you've asked me to check something in regards to distance, then I probably always respond that the testing and measuring distance in For Honor is a huge pain in the ass. Well, consider this video an exception then. What I took a closer look at was the distance a character covers when dodge rolling. For that I did the following. I tried yeah, I tried and positioned myself at that little intersection between the circle and these cobblestones. I then performed a dodge roll to the left, for which I macroed the input to at least get some semblance of consistency. And after that I took a screenshot with Ansel, once again trying to do this from a similar position each time. And that leaves me with a screenshot like this. Repeat that process 17 more times, stack the screenshots on top of each other, and mark the position of each hero, and we're left with something like this. When looking at all this, you obviously need to keep a couple of things in mind. A few caveats, if you so will. First, there's no way for me to always position myself at the exact same starting position. Second, and adding on to that, I can't guarantee that I'm perfectly perpendicular to the wall, which you can obviously see in the spread of the marked positions. There's plenty of deviation. Third, characters have different sight dodge distances. I'm sure that everyone can tell simply by playing this game. So that obviously factors in quite a lot. There also might be some surprises, like Shaman's a very short distance, or Raider's a rather large one. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> I will put the links of these pictures in the video description so you can take a closer look if you want. Some of you might think now that because of the different roll distances, the recovery might also be different. But I have bad news here, there's no advantage to short dodge rolls. From roll start until your guard comes up, it's 1200 milliseconds. So not only will some moves punish or rather track your roll easier, because you're closer to them, you also don't have any extra time to maybe block that attack. There's quite a bit of discussion about dodge rolling, and like I mentioned in the previous video, the lack of guard break vulnerability is what makes it such a stupid move. But the ability to dodge roll adds distance to every character's roll, which means that it is a valuable tool to escape feats like bombs, fire flasks, other huge damage AoEs. I don't think we need to involuntarily buff these feats even further by removing dodge rolls. But I also think arguments can be made for and against standardizing the distance of those moves, so feel free to discuss this in the comments. And that about sums it up. I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody.